We say it loud for the pioneers. Scientists like George Washington Carver, whose genius took him from a slave cabin to making scientific history. Trailblazers like Shirley Chisholm, the first black congresswoman who made feminist history by being unbought and unbossed. Champions like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, whose skyhook made him the NBA's leading scorer and an unstoppable force. And artists like Ella Fitzgerald, whose voice not only shattered glass, but broke down racial barriers, inspiring the world. We say it loud because black history is American history. Happy Sabbath, Northside. We have come this far by faith. Your Northside news begins this morning celebrating the foresight of Carter G. Woodson, whom we considered the father of Negro History Week, as we used to call it many years ago. Persons of color and those of the opposite color have contributed to our struggle. Along came the voice of a minister, Dr. Martin Luther King, whose life was sacrificed while trying to show that all men are created equal. Then along came an unforeseen, celebrated event with Barack Obama. A person of black lineage became president of the United States of America, an event that many older black people never dreamed that such would happen in their lifetime. The black race has come a long way by having faith in God and trusting him. Sister Patricia Segree, leader of our Adventist youth, is inviting you to a special consecration service for all of our youth today at 5 p.m. They're looking forward to your support this evening. Thankfully, Sister Mavis Seymour has consented to serve as head deaconess. Sister Jackie Roming and Brother Clarence Howell have volunteered to serve as interior decorating coordinators. Two other positions remain open treasurer and men's ministry. If interested, please inform either Pastor Moore or Sister Barnes. Your 2017 end of year tax statements are ready and can be picked up in the lobby right after this morning's divine worship service. Also, church calendars are available. Please take one per household. Elder John Lewis and team will be visiting the nursing home today. Elder Van Neely would like to meet with the prayer ministries team near the piano right after divine worship. Also, next Sabbath's prayer and fasting service will begin immediately after divine worship. Fasting is not a requirement to participate. Come anyway, bring your prayer requests as well. Again, we want to thank everyone for their help with the 10 days of prayer. We thank Sister Marilyn Oates for coming out nightly to help serve the food and Sister Jackie Roming for helping us to climax the blessed event with beautiful scenery and for the Agape Feast held in the Fellowship Hall. Conflict, disagreement. Who was in conflict? What was the disagreement? Offer your answers at the Sunday evening Bible class delving into the great controversy, which will resume tomorrow evening at 6.30 p.m. Let us remember our homebound. Their contact information is in your bulletin. I'm happy to announce that Brother Stephen Thompson's mother has been discharged from the hospital and is receiving therapy at home. Two of February's Black History Month speakers are attorney Larry Hanfield on the third Sabbath and Stephen Gates on the fourth Sabbath. The Health Fair Initiative, Dr. Marcia Neely is enlisting the help of not only medical personnel, but also those of various backgrounds, expertise, or work experiences to assist with the many responsibilities of this initiative. Please meet with her at six o'clock this evening to provide input for the initial planning of next month's event. The church regrets to announce the passing of Brother Ulrich Desir's father, who resided in Philadelphia. Let us remember the family in prayer. I am Carla Morrison. Continue to do your best in sharing hope and restoring wholeness.